okay so this is the second session i think uh, of week 12 <clears throat> So, sorry, I think it is first. Sorry? Sunday session was cancelled. So, it was on Monday. No, sir. Okay. Sunday so session was cancelled. I said to shift on Monday, but. Okay, so tomorrow will be another session. Okay. Okay, so this is the first session. I hope my screen is visible to all of you. So, in week 12, uh, you know, solving this differential equation is there and till second order will discuss so first of all please let me your doubt then we'll discuss something some concepts if needed okay so first of all let me know your doubts anyone have any kind of doubt First thing, all of you gone through the lectures of week 12? Anyone? Sir, not fully, sir, but partially. OK. Tanishka, you? Yes, sir. Ahmad, what about you? And this on mute. Akas, Sanjay. Yes, sir, I have completed. Okay. But, sir, there are some doubt activity to uh, 12.5 that is posted by the chat box. Chat box. Okay. First, second, third. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss the doubt first. Okay. So, so what is your doubt here? I Akash. have done, sir, but uh, I have done uh, uh, these questions, but uh, there are no match uh, between them. Okay, so how you are solving first? First of all, first uh, uh, we we have a look at uh, what is the behavior of the uh, bodies and then deal with it as we consider in lecture mm -hmm. no so is it homogeneous differential equation or non homogeneous uh, i don't know it is not homogeneous equation yeah so it is not homogeneous when we will say a homogeneous differential equation when the right side of the equation is becomes zero. zero. Yeah. And uh, non-homogeneous is if it is non-zero. 
So this is a non-homogeneous differential equation. And in that case, if, uh, if a system of linear equation is non-homogeneous, so in that case, uh, we have to find the two type of solution. Okay. If it is homogeneous system of linear equation, then there exists only a, you know, general solution. Yes, but sir. if it is non-homogeneous, then there is a general solution and there is a particular solution. There are two type of solutions. Hmm. And the complete solution, the second form of complete, that is called the last solution. The complete solution is going to be your general solution and particular solution. You will add both and that would be a complete solution. So I don't know what is the sir is naming out here. I not sure. But uh, the thing is that uh, name is different in some books are have some different name. So it's totally different on you. Uh, so the thing is like if your system of linear equation is non homogeneous. So there are two type of solution. Okay. One is, I think, called general. General mean to say, suppose, uh, let's discuss with this one. So, so in this problem, uh, If we take this part, okay, this is so this is non homogeneous, first of all, okay, non homogeneous because the right side is non zero, and now this is four. So, general solution is called, you know, general solution is called, we'll take the we'll find the solution of this differential equation, mean to say, equate to, to zero. And first of all, we'll try to find the solution of this part. This so whatever the solution will exist, we'll say it general solution. Okay. And particular solution is we'll find try to find the particular solution is is also a solution of the equation, but by, by guessing the solution by guessing so we'll try to guess the solution what would be the case so mean to say we'll try to get a function I, I, we have already seen no how to find how we'll guess that as uh, sir have some so generally uh you know if it is a constant right side is constant so what we will guess when it will be you know sign and cause then what we'll try to guess so these things are there and uh, the particular solution is going to be also a solution which you will which will satisfy this okay which will satisfy this differential equation okay except this whatever you will find the solution of this differential equation except this there will be another solution that is called particular solution okay that will also satisfy this differential equation this whole and the complete solution is going to be Complete solution is general solution plus particular solution. Okay, so first of all, let's find the general solution of this, this differential equation. So we have this part, okay, here. So what is the process to find that, you know, solution? What we will do here? First, we uh, we have to check out the behavior of the roots. Ha. So we have to check out the roots. So what how what we can convert? We can think this is a we can think this is a D. Okay. So and uh, second order we can generally the process is mean mean to say I I don't know sir is how we solving the simple way is that you just assume that this represent your D square. Generally D is a derivative mean to say. And this is 4D and plus Y. So here is Y, Y, Y. 
equal to zero. Okay, so that means what is that? What is the or this is no, this is uh, or we can you can think uh, this is a quadratic equation, you can think this is the form. I mean to say, you can think the quadratic equation related to this differential equation is this one. Okay. So this is a notation it's totally up to you how you are notating it okay so you can convert this differential equation sir, or you can think yes sir so in this case we are just converting a differential uh, second order differential equation into a, a quadratic classes not converting we are actually trying to find the root of this not converting we'll try to actually guess that what is going to be general solution so guessing process is that you can think your differential equation so these are only the raw for okay yes sir uh, but i have a doubt sir but in lectures they have uh, substituted the y as uh, e to the power s x like that, uh, that yes is correct, so sir. what we will substitute here so that's the thing here what you will substitute the root of this differential equation so here is so what is going to be here is 2d plus 1 whole square so root is going to be what same minus one both plus roots one are going to be same so in that case one solution is going to be so, so in that case if your roots is repeated to you in that case your solution is going to be what e to the power, power x so yeah it is going to be c1 e to the power x e to the power one by minus one by two c1 e to the power one by two x plus x c2 or it is c2 x c2 x e to the power minus power one by two x if your road if your root is repeated to you in that case here it will be a multiplication of x so mean to say it will be of e power 1 by 2x c1 plus c2x so this is the general solution okay if the your roots are repeated to you Suppose the case is your root is different for, for the timing. Let's assume that the roots are here is one is minus one by two and another is plus one by two. In that case, your solution is going to be C1 e power minus one by two x plus C2 e power one by two x. There is no x now because both roots are different. But our case is here. We are getting the same root. So that's why we'll add here x. So the mean to say here, this one. Okay. So this is the one general solution. Okay. You can check. So what is, whatever you are getting, your solution is correct or not. So what you can do, you can differentiate because this is, you know, this is a solution. So you can differentiate your solution whatever you will get and again differentiate okay twicely whatever you will get just substitute mean to say just substitute here if you are getting okay if you are getting here zero so this one getting here zero then this is going to be your solution okay so this is the process to check that your solution is correct or not as you know verifying that you know, once you know solving the system of linear equation, if you are in the system of linear equation, so suppose this is one, this is two, you solve that your system of linear equation, how you will verify your solution is correct or not? Suppose you got some value. So how will you verify? You will substitute in the equation of each x, y, z value and you will check that your answer is getting as your right side or not so same way same that is the same here also whatever you are getting you can check yourself that your answer is correct or not 
now let's find the particular solution now so in the constant case what is the process to think what is going to be your particular solution anyone akash 7 by 4 7 by 4 why it is so 7 by 4 uh, first we have convert the general form of that uh, uh, equation mm -hmm. and then uh, we guess the constant part uh, mean uh, 1 by 4 fx is equal to that 7 and then we have uh, find out the value of fx okay so here is see that how we'll guess here so example we have this four right side so here is what is the guessing here is that fx we can assume it here fx is equal to some constant c so here is guessing that so mean to say Seven, so, I think. Four, seven, four, seven, seven. Uh, so mean to say let's assume that y is equal to some constant is your is your solution okay let's assume that y is equal to c is your constant y is equal to some constant is your solution so what is going to be derivative here of this First order derivative, I am mean to say here is dd of x. I am representing by just d. Okay, or let's so this this is my representation. Sir. Just I am saying dy. Okay, this sir. is going to be ha huh, yes. Sir, I am not clear with this particular solution, sir. Sir, the initial thing which you have found e is equal y is equal to c one e to the power x. That is what, sir, and this is what, sir. So that's. In starting, I said, so let you will answer myself, okay, yourself and me also. Is this system, is this not system? Is this differential equation is homogeneous or not? No, but sir. Non homogeneous. So, when your differential equation is non homogeneous, so in this, in that case, two type of solution will exist. First is general solution. Second is particular solution. What is general solution? It is general for solution case. Case. You will uh? general solution is for homogeneous case. Yes, so general solution is for homogeneous case. So okay. We'll convert our differential equation in the homogeneous form. We'll not convert. We'll think. Okay, these all are actually the rough work. Okay, these all are actually rough work. Okay? So we'll think your differential equation for the homogeneous case and the process is i hope it is very much clear to find the how to find the general solution of the homogeneous once you found the general solution then we will start think the particular solution so this is a, another solution of the this differential equation okay apart from this Apart from this uh, general solution, okay. So, how we'll get this particular solution? Particular solution. So, there is only one way: is that guessing method. There is no another method. Only just guessing that. I think some formulas is also given. We'll use that. Okay. We'll discuss that also. Okay. So, guessing met method is there. So, so what is the guess? Is that assume that. Sure. Let's say y is equal to some constant. Let's say y is equal to some constant c is your solution. When your right side is just a constant, so in that case, you can guess. In that case, you can guess your particular solution is just y is equal to some constant. Okay, This is the process to get, guess. If it is some different function, let's say some sine, cos, in that case, your guess is going to be different. Okay, We'll discuss that also. But sir, if your right side, yes. 
we are guessing that y is going to be a constant asset sorry sorry we are guessing we are guessing or assuming that y is going to be a constant yes we are guessing that y is going to be a constant particular solution okay sir. in the case of when right side is your constant okay okay sir so here is case that let's assume y is equal to c is your particular solution so sir, and uh, one, one one small level sir and general solution is for homogeneous case and particular solution is for which one sir particular solution is going to be the for whole okay for whole for whole part so the complete solution will be the sum of the both yes so complete solution is going to be adding both oh, okay so let's assume here that the particular solution is constant one okay now we assume that y is equal to c some constant so derivative and my representation is here just dy i am just representing mean to say dd of ddx of y okay so if you derivate this constant you know derivate a constant function is going to be zero and the second order derivative which is you know i'm just representing d square you can mean to say here the same is there okay for my simplicity i am doing this again it will be a zero okay now i am saying this is the solution so let's substitute in that so here so if you substitute in this equation so we got double derivative is zero plus first derivative is also zero and c equal to and y is equal to c we assume and this right side so this implies your c is equal to 7 itself this implies your c is equal to 7 itself so that means your particular solution is going to be what that 7 so complete solution is going to be is going to be general solution c1 e power or let's c1 plus c2 x e power 1 by 2 x plus this one this is your complete solution so here is not 7 by 4 it is just a 7 akash am i right yes but sir option not matching okay so let's check that so here is particular solution is 7 homogeneous solution is c1 plus c2 okay so here is here it should be you know 1 by 2 okay okay and solution is you know complete solution is representation is just whole solution so uh so here is uh, which let me match with the question here is general solution is our homogeneous called gen homogeneous solution okay as in the lecture so this i mean to say the general solution is mean to say homogeneous solution particular solution is the same particular solution and i am saying complete solution so not complete solution just a solution word you can use for the whole okay so this is your solution this is your 
homogeneous solution and this is your particular solution okay and now here is it should be here one by two because as we know roots are so i i think we are not making mistake in finding the roots right it is correct minus one by two yes yes yeah so here it mean to say here is surely one by two will be so error is on you know okay so let me make it note So it will be corrected. Okay. So I hope now it is clear, right? Yes. Okay. So what about the second equation? What is it out? I am able to solve, I think, or get the same equation as we as we provide in options okay so here is one thing you know particular is so here we are not going to you know here is a, it is a, you know this problem is given itself in the options the solution is given particular solution is given you know in the options so what we what we will do we will not try to guess that okay we will use this solution whatever in given so the method is that i mean to say we'll use this function to check which is going to be your particular solution directly so what is the process we will assume this is our particular solution and we'll differentiate okay one by one okay in both type okay and we'll substitute in that and if it is satisfied then we'll say okay our particular solution is going to be this so by this way we'll proceed for the particular solution okay and for the homogeneous solution so homogeneous solution in that case we have the differential equation this one y double derivative plus 4y equal to 0. This is our di homogeneous differential equation. And uh, so we can, we can think, we, we, we'll, we can convert in this process, right? In this way that to find the root and the uh, roots are going to be, you know, uh, complex roots plus minus 2y. Roots are going to be plus minus 2y. So in that case, homogeneous solution is what? Y is equal to C1. What is that? Cos T cos 2x plus C2 sin 2x. Sin 2x. So in that case, when the roots are no complex, so in that case, your homogeneous solution is going to be this one and particular solution is now we will not we are not going to guess that okay here is the main purpose is given to know what is the meaning of particular solution so if you start guessing that it will be difficult okay so what you will do or what we can do is that assume that the first option is that the, our particular solution is t by 4 cos 2 t now let's differentiate this so this is going to be what 1 by 4 yes somebody want to sir say yes sir in this case how we will be finding the general and the particular integral so that that is what i am saying no in this case we are not going to guess that because it is already given the particular solution is these two as in the option if you start guessing it will be difficult in this problem but we'll use the options to get the particular solution so we will assume that this is our particular solution okay will you assume that this is our particular solution and now we'll differentiate this 
So derivative of this is going to be what? 1 by 4 is going to be out. So cos 2t, the derivative of the first t and then the second one. And t, derivative of cos is going to be minus sign. Here it is going to be minus 2t. And finally, 2 will be out. So the first derivative is going to be 1 by 4 cos 2t minus 2t sine this 2t. And that second order derivative, which is d square dx square, okay, of y. So this is going to be second order. And this is 1 by 4 will be again out. Derivative of cos is sine 2 and then of inner part is going to be 2 sine so this is minus 2 sine 2 t and this is minus now we'll take 2 out and derivate this part and this is going to be t no so this is going to be sine 2 t plus t cos 2 t into t so finally 2 will be here so here is your d square is going to be finally means okay, second order derivative is going to be 1 by 4 minus 2 sine 2t minus 2 sine 2t minus 2t cos 2t so this is finally minus 4 sine 2t minus 2t cos 2t So this is our derivative. So let's substitute here in the equation. Is it satisfying that? So this is d square plus y plus 4y thing, right? 4y. So left side is this one. If you substitute here, so this is going to be 1 by 4 minus 4 sine 2t minus 2t cos 2t plus 4. Our y is, we assume, this is the solution. So this is t by 4 cos 2t. So this is going, going to be cancel out. And this is going to be minus sine 2t. This will be go inside. And uh, minus sine 2t minus 1 by 2, 1 by t, 1 by 2t. Uh, this is cos 2t plus t cos 2t. So this part is not right side, right? This is not equal to the right hand side. Sir. Yes. Could you please explain the previous steps of this sum, sir? This one. Before this, sir. This one. Ah, yes, sir. How did we get that one? Sir? I just add these two terms. Here is minus sine 2t. Here is minus 2 sine 2t. Both I added. It will become minus 4 sine 2t. No, sir. Uh, I am just confused with the entire uh, block of the step, sir. So what I am, I am, I am doing nothing. I am just derivating this function twicely. That's all. Okay, sir. Okay, I am just derivating this function twicely. This is the first order derivative. This is the second order derivative. Okay, sir. Okay, and the derivative we got this one. So it tells you that, and once we substituted here in this left hand side of the differential equation double order derivative is this one and 4 into y is going to be this one we it is not equal to whatever here given okay in right side it is different whatever we got so let's do for the what assume now our so this is whatever we assume this is our particular solution it is wrong 
So let's do for the particular solution y is equal to p by 4 sin 2t. If you assume this is our particular solution, so again we have to find the first order derivative of this and second order derivative of this. Sir, okay. uh, could you please tell uh, which sum it is, sir? Is it from uh, uh, practice question, sir? This is an activity problem. Of five, fifth one, fifth activity. Okay, sir. So, so what about this one, Akas? Have you tried this? Is is this satisfying? Yes, sir. This will satisfy, right? Because once we do that, I think it will satisfy. So, or we can check that very quickly also. So of the derivative of this first term is going to be again, we can think one by four is going to be out. This is going to be derivative of this t is going to be one. And this is exactly sine two t plus t time cos two t here two will be there. And the second order derivative is going to be again one by four is out. Sine going to be cos two t and two into derivative of this part is this plus now derivative of this part will do so this is cos 2t okay and minus uh, 2t sin 2t will be so, sir yes we are differentiating with respect to t yeah, sir sorry are we differentiating with respect to t yes, yes. We are differentiating this function with respect to t, with respect to t, both, and then we. Do. So I so don't worry. I'm if you are not getting, you can do separately. I'm quickly here doing it. Okay? okay. This is the derivative I'm doing of this one. Okay. Derivative of this one is this is a multiplication of two function. This is the first function. This is the second function, and derivative of in that case when two function is multiplied. We'll derivate this one and second will be second one will be as it is. So this is going to be cos 2t. And now we'll derivate the second part and we'll first part will first part will be add as it is. So second part will be minus sin 2t. And now inner function is it is a composition. So inner function, the derivative of inner function is 2 will come. So finally, cos 2t minus 2t sin 2t. 2t will get here minus 2t sin 2t will get which i wrote here okay. so just i'm 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 doing nothing this is just a derivative so this is the second order derivative now our differential equation is d square which is the double prime okay so or, or we can know we can just in place of if it is a problems so we can use the double derivative so y prime and y double prime it will be good. So, so our differential equation is y double prime plus 4y. So, let's do substitute here. So, this is 1 by 4. Double power prime is going to be this one. Okay, 1 by 4, 2 cos 2t plus 2. So, here is 2 cos, 2 cos same. It will be 4. So, let's skip that part. So, this is 4 cos 2t. And this is minus 4 t sin 2t okay this is our double prime and then 4 time t by 4 sin 2t our y is there so this is cos 2t minus t sin 2t plus this will be t sin 2t. So this will be cancelled out. So finally, cos 2t will got, which is equal to the our right hand side. This one. So that's why we can say our particular solution is this. And general solution, which is not general, mean to say homogeneous solution is we already got this. So finally, complete solution or just solution so solution of the differential equation is adding this and the particular solution and you can match which is going to be 
the correct one. Sir. Yes. The general solution for this is a guess, sir. sir. C1 cos 2x plus C2 sin 2x. No, this is not guess. We got the root of the that. No, the homogeneous part we think as a quadratic and find the root which is a complex root. In that case, when the roots are complex, in that case, the solution could be written as y is equal to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Okay. At least these things we have to remember at least. So, one thing. Uh, huh? Is it the... Is it given in the lecture that uh, Q of X can be a U sin X plus B cos X? Is it in the same form like that? Sir? No, it is in the lecture. When your roots are going to be complex number, then in that case, what is going to be your homogeneous solution? Okay. So okay. let me show you the place where is it, where it is. I think... Uh, so uh, it means e to the power rx multiplied to c1 cos tx plus c2 sin tx, that one, sir. Yes. So here is, I think, okay. This one, sir? No, this is for the guessing one. Or this one. Um, for the, I think for the homogeneous, it is, uh, here it will be. The, in the lecture, second point. Fourth lecture, Yes, so here it is. If, see, the roots of this one, so here is, sir is taking the notation, okay? Yes, is square, so we can be on there. It is totally up to you, okay, how you are noting. So yes, is taking the, that second order mean to say yes, yes is square, V S plus C. And if root is going to be a complex number, so in that case, the solution is going to be e power this one so okay so here is generally suppose if your root is if assume that the root is roots are let's say the root is 3 plus minus 5 i Two roots you will get for the quadratic okay one is one is here is the both root i wrote so here is 3 plus 5 pi and then other is 3 minus 5 pi so conjugate form in the conjugate form you will find the root okay so this is one so so solution is going to be what e power 3 plus minus 5 i mean mean to say generally it is wrote in this form okay so solution is going to be this one. This you can write 3 power x into e power 5 pi x, right? And here is e power 3 x. And this, you know, right? If it is a e power some, you know, 2i, something is there, you can, that could be written as, you know, cos 2x plus sine, if it is, you know, 2 is there, just 2i, if it is 2 theta i or something is there, in that case, you, what is that? 2 cos 2, okay, cos 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta, right? In that case, you will assume. So, it is the same way. So, root is going to be c1 cos pi back. Sir. Yes. When y is equal to e to the power plus or minus 5y uh, multiplied to x. Mm -hmm. In the next case, uh, only plus condition is the plus plus no, sir. What will be the negative condition, sir? Where e to the power 3 minus 5y into x.
what is wrote here solution are going to be e power cos tx plus e power sin tx okay sir this is just a notation okay these are just a notation you can assume that if it is the root are going to be like this we can think like this and finally we can say the solution is going to be in this form okay sir these are just a notation okay so for the notation for the timing because why i am mean to say at least for this course or here just think these are the just a notation okay so final solution is going to be this one. the complex number part complex part will go as a cos part and sin degree part degree part will be that will the you know complex part will follow in the degree here cos pi x plus sin and the real part real part will follow as you know the e power 3x So if roots are you know and if here is our case is there is no real part exactly the imaginary part you got complex part mean complex i mean so i mean to say imaginary part so in that case it will be just you know cos c1 cos 2x and c2 sin 2x okay if you there is a issue you can assume zero is there and it will be what e power 0x which is exactly one so it it is mean to say just a c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x sir hmm? uh, i have dot in the lecture number 4 uh, in when we uh, get complex conjugate pair uh, that mm -hmm. portion uh, uh, when uh, we approximate uh, the differential equation as uh, the exponential function and we got its root as complex uh, mm -hmm. uh, can you open that slide please yes uh, then uh, uh, what we got uh, we got two solutions initially uh, we got two solutions that mm -hmm. is uh, e to the power rx into cos tx plus i e to the power rx into sin tx and the yeah. another uh, solution was uh, just same but the conjugate of that Mm -hmm. minus sin yes, uh, yes so how do we how do we get uh, from these two sets of solutions uh, to another sets of solution as uh, uh, given in the that uh, blue box uh, that uh, e to the power rx cos tx and uh, e to the power rx sin tx so i think sir is not saying no so here is just a you know bilinear combination property So, what is the linear uh, combination property? K of f one uh, x plus uh, k k one of f one x plus k two of f two x. Uh, uh, this is also the solution. If f one x and uh, f two x are two solutions of the differential equation. Mm. See, it is no. Here is no mean to say the derivation is not given here. First of all. okay if it is so for the timing that's that's i'm saying if for the timing so prithvi is also asked this one how we are writing this so for the time being you can assume that the solution is going to be the linear combination of e power cos tx plus e power sin tx that's all and how okay, okay. how we are getting so there how we are getting this derivative so here is the derivative mean to say See the differential equation is exactly you know guess part. If you see here, mm -hmm. it is totally guess part. So it is giving an idea that e power r x cos t x is a solution. You can check here after substituting. Once yeah, you yeah. do substitution here, it is going to be one solution. If you substitute this one, it is going to be one solution. So final solution is going to be what? Linear combination of these two. Uh, but uh, uh, since uh, we are changing our uh, two sets of solution uh, with another two sets of solution, and uh, we are uh, assuming it as a new set of solutions, which uh, uh, which is solution of the differential equation. So, mm -hmm. is it is it uh, covering the full set of solutions, or is there any another set that we are uh, not considering in this uh, set? So. there could be so that's why if it is you know this is homogeneous so in that case this is 
so here is you can say this is a solution okay this is a solution there may be a different solution also okay so there yeah, may yeah, be that's a... that's what uh, that's what i asked that ah, so is there could be so your answer is, so my answer is there may be some solution but at least we got one solution here is one solution we got Okay, okay because we don't know our exact function we don't know our exact function what is fx but hmm. here is at least one guess is that we got one kind of function is this that this is satisfying or linear com that's why the linear combination property came because why why the this linear combination property came the reason is that once you derivate that okay linear pro the reason is why this linear combination property came suppose y1 is one solution you got or let's say let's say fx is equal to some solution you got another fx is got you another solution so linear combination is why the linear combination property hold because it is a differential once you have that you if you differentiate your function you know if your function is in adding form let's say f1 is one solution f2 is another solution okay and hmm. if you apply on the first one it will be you can check that after substitution this is a solution you can check that f2 is also a solution and if you add yeah, yeah. these two and if you substitute here again check that this is going to be a solution also why it is so because differentiation you know on the addition it will separately deal it will deal separately after addition so you know right derivative is on you know linear derivative is a linear property on addition linearly it can happen means will differentiate separately this one and this one and add them finally because of yeah, this property it. linear property on this differential equation holds and both solution f1 is one solution f2 is another solution there may be f3 also so in that case you will add your f3 and finally we will say okay this is also a solution so this is a solution not a complete solution mean to say not a final not full this is a solution or solution okay not a the solution it is a or solution it is a, it is a subset of the all solutions yes. the universal it is a subset of all you can mean to say there may be some different f4 f5 another function could be there which will satisfy yeah, that but but this does but this must satisfy it yeah uh, sir uh, i uh, i have one more doubt uh, just uh, <clears throat> uh, because it was not mentioned explicitly initially mm -hmm. uh, when we started solving differential equations uh, we just uh, tried to approximate uh, 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 especially for double uh, second order differential equations uh, homogeneous uh, we try to approximate f of x as uh, a to the power sx i mean uh, as a exponential function mm -hmm, but yes. what uh, what guarantees us that uh, every f of x can be represented as a exponential solution uh, mm -hmm. is it true for every case no it is not true for every case okay here is that generally one thing so here is uh, once you start doing you know uh, bsc in mathematics so there is a separate area for the differential equation okay one thing is that and there it is already seen that okay if it is your if your differential equation okay if your differential equation is a kind of this one a time y prime plus y is equal to let's say zero is there mean to say if your this coefficient is constant okay if your coefficient in is constant in that case your function is a kind of exponential okay? that's why you can you you can see that the solution is also sir is saying that just uh, find the roots and e power x substitute there is another so this is one type one type okay there could be possibility that in place of coefficient the constant one it could be a variable let's say x square or could be a function of x 
x square x or let's say some 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 function some variable it is not a constant it is a variable so in mm -hmm. that case your function is not so in that case your solution is not e power something okay so there is a different method variation of parameter parameter there is a different method to solve this kind of problem in that case your function is not going to be f of y is equal to e power something it is going to be different one a different kind of function will be there okay so the characteristic mean to say whenever your constant you know sorry whenever your coefficient is a constant one so in that case your function is going to be a a kind of exponential this is a characteristic okay. if it is does it uh, sorry does it does it satisfy uh, for any order of differential equation consisting of uh, uh, constant uh, yes. coefficients yes 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 so if it is your co coefficients are actually constant so in that case your function is going to be always a it is already proved also okay when we will do the theory on differential equation it is already proved that in that case your function is going to be a kind of exponential because why the reason is if you check your function suppose your function is you know of a kind of exponential and you will write in this fashion it will show you it will give you a constant kind of and then derivative and then constant and then derivative because of that yeah reason, yeah it is a vice versa if it is a constant then it will give a exponential if your function is exponential and you will try to write your function in the differential equation form it will be of a constant type of uh, uh, that equation you will get so this is a vice versa that's why this proof is already given okay in the differential equations once you do the theory on differential equation the proof is already given in this that your if your function is constant sorry your coefficients are constant in that case your function is going to be exponential okay so got it so that's the reason here why the guess sir is saying that your guess is going to be exponential the reason is that here, here is your con co sorry coefficients are constant it could there are many property it is a simple so so whatever i know that whatever i till studied i generally studied you know x square or x to the power n some some x to the power i till now even i did not, didn't study it you know it could be a different exactly any kind of function sine sine x and then double derivative uh, or mean to say double prime then cos y cos x then y then in that case it is going to be very difficult very difficulty to get that what is our y so in that case it is, it is not going to be constant sorry exponential okay it is not going to be e power it is going to be totally different we don't know even what is going to be that uh, sir uh, just one dot uh, in uh, first order uh, differential equation uh, linear uh, only uh, we uh, sir can you open that slide lecture slide so i can refer better Okay. Okay. Here uh, <clears throat> we uh, in the solution, uh, everything is clear except one uh, about the coefficients. Uh, in the solution, uh, as we uh, integrated uh, both left part and right part, uh, I'm, I'm referring left part as e to the power px uh, into f of x and whole derivative with mm -hmm. respect to x. And mm -hmm. right hand side, uh, we had uh, e to the power px uh, into q of x. So uh, mm -hmm. usually we integrated both sides and uh, easily we, we, we can solve uh, for f of x. But uh, as as we know, uh, integrating uh, any function uh, leaves behind a constant, and we have mentioning here uh, the mm. uh, constant with c. Which but c, uh, yes. what about uh, yeah yeah? But what about the constant uh, 
that will uh, be left after that uh, antiderivative of uh, e to the power p x uh, into q of x. So we we are not. Uh, uh, I mean, we are neglecting that coefficient. So, where does that coefficient go? The second coefficient inside the integral of uh, e to the power p x into q of x. The last um, one you can defer. In here. No, no, no. That is clear. That comes uh, from uh, the integrating left side. Yes, uh, yes. And leaves behind the constant. Yes, uh, yes. But uh, what about the middle term, sir? Uh, the right, just right term of the this, equality sign. Yeah, this one. This, this, yeah, yeah, this, this one. one. No, okay. no, no, no. Anti-derivative of e to the power p x into q x. Yeah, this, this one. This will also leave uh, a constant term after uh, uh, integrating. So what is happening here? So this a suffix e power x q x is anti derivative of e power p x q x okay here it is a notation okay it is a notation so a suffix e power x q x is anti derivative of e power this part q x this is an anti derivative of this part and what is finally doing sir is multiplying or mean to say oh, so here is sir is multiplying both sides by e power minus px here is so that's why this term came if you multiply e power minus px both side so so finally what you will get this part if you multiply here what you will get here this part only just fx you will get see that right side is multiplied by e power minus px the next term is did here. So if you are getting confusion, so the next step is after getting this integration, whatever here you, we are getting, the next step is here both side multiplied by e power minus px. So right side is going to be this one and left side is just fx we will get. Oh, okay, okay. I just confused. Uh, let me just... Uh state uh, uh, my understanding uh, so you please tell me that uh, uh, am i correct or is there any mistake uh, okay. in the uh, in the <clears throat> uh, uh, third equation from bottom mm. that uh, uh, we integrate both sides yeah 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 that one we okay. integrate okay. both sides <clears throat> yes. uh, integrating both sides uh, uh, we we are left with uh, some constant on a left side also and uh, some constant on right side also mm -hmm. yes, and yes. Uh, yeah yeah and then uh, we move uh, left from um, left side constant to the right side constant and yes. the sum or difference of both constant we treat it as a new constant so that's yes. why it is reflecting there okay yes 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 you are correct yeah yeah got it sir. So see, sometimes, you know, if it is, you know, general kind of constant is there. So in that case, we are, what we can think like, means we, we can write that as just C. It means C is anything, right? C is a constant. So it C is C1 minus C2. C is just left one C1, left one, you will get a constant C1, right side, you got C2. So finally you are arranging and finally you are getting c1 minus c2 or c2 minus c1 so let's call it as a c or anything so that's why our c is not fixed so we can call it or we can directly write just any kind of constant one notation is that that, that p c r whatever the notation and then in the last you will call it you will write that c is a constant a kind of parameter c is a parameter yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, so we did on, you know, uh, so let's do on, I think, uh, still remain the third problem. Why I'm doing this? Because uh, one by one is that we are, everything is slowly, we are getting clear here that how we are doing that all. It is a kind of uh, revising the concepts also. Yes. Sir, I have some doubt in the <clears throat> lecture five of week 12, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, in that while discussing the uh, case q of x is equal to u sin x plus v cos x. 
sorry lecture video sir okay lecture video okay yes sir here uh, in this lecture no yeah sir 12.5 yes sir okay hmm around 8 or 9 minutes sir okay oh, yes sir yes sir sir on this one sir yes sir here uh, we will be substituting the f of x as uh, r sin x plus s cos x and follow the following double derivative and single derivation after that sir uh, what are they doing sir 4 or minus 2s is equal to 1 and 2 2 or plus 4s is equal to 1 uh, what is that mean sir so what is that here if we assume our particular solution is u sin x and b cos x okay okay sir if we assume our particular solution is u sin x and b cos x okay no no sorry 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 not not here is the particular solution we are assuming r sin x plus yes cos x if our q is mean to say right side of you no know, non homogeneous function is this one u sin x plus b cos x okay or anything one part or both are means both sin cos are there or just one cos sin are there so assume that our guess is that particular solution is r sin x plus yes cos x now what we will do we will do substitution here will what we will find the second derivative we will we will find the first derivative and exactly fx see that this is the part is done here this is the second derivative of f this one this is the first derivative and this is our f and once we did here so what you will get here so what is happening here the r what is happening here we are comparing left and right what you will get the left side sir if sin is present it is one na sir so here is what what i am doing here or what is going to be the left side here just solve this left side what you will get for you sin and cos sin, sir sin portion right you will add sin portions yes sir so minus r okay here is minus s minus 2 time s from this one and from this one you will get plus 5 time oh, r yes sir and then sin x plus now let's solve the for the cos portion this is minus s and from here 2r and from here 5s plus 5s and cos x equal to sin x correct this is the final solution now if we compare both side this is a equation right this is a equation we can compare so if we compare the coefficient of sin x and sin x it will be minus r minus 2s plus 5r equal to 1 and if we compare cos coefficient so here we can think zero time cos x sir sir in the right hand side why it is one sir as here is what is here i am saying compare the coefficient of sin x okay sir similarly co compare the coefficient of cos x This is minus s plus 2r plus 5s is equal to zero. So this is it here. Okay, this is the done part. Okay.
now it is clear yes sir so this is also giving an idea of the second derivative case when we have the right size as you know this part sir yes and at last how are we rating the f of x sir so here is we meant to solve our system of linear equation right this is two equation you got you have to find the value of r and you have to find the value of s okay so finally your fx is what this one right substitute here the r value substitute here the s okay. value this is going to be your f so here is what is that if our differential equation the differential equation the right, which is non homogeneous and non homogeneous cases possibly qx is assume that this portion is there if it is such thing is there then our guess the particular for the our guess for the particular solution is going to be we can assume fx is equal to r sin x plus yes cos x and the same process will substitute will differentiate twicely will differentiate first time and twice and will substitute in the main given differential equation in the differential equation and will compare and finally get the a kind of system of linear equation in the con in the here in the to find the constant of whatever we are guessing that r sin x is cos x we'll get a system of linear equation in two variable three variable i don't know how many it is generally two variable because r and s is there okay for the simplicity at least so two variable in two variables you get a two equation generally okay and we'll solve that for the r value and s value and whatever value we'll get here we'll substitute separately for r value and s and that is going to be our particular solution so complete solution or just solution is going to be the homogeneous homogeneous solution plus particular solution anyone else have doubt so i think by this way we have discussed the the second order derivative almost and the first order derivative is it is not a tough you know and also discuss with the, some doubts that how, what is the process the first order derivative is you know will just now we discuss i think what is that uh, will think that is a anti derivative way what is that there is the simply uh, first order example is there first order this one so here is that if it is homogeneous case or non homogeneous case in both case okay so let me write that in first order is is here one okay if it is you know if it is homogeneous or non homogeneous in both case if it is homogeneous the same process will apply okay here right side will be zero everyone just constant will come so so final solution is going to be this part is zero and this is going to be fx is equal to c e power minus px so if it is homogeneous solution 
सॉरी होमोजीनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इफ इट इज होमोजीनियस केस देन द सोल्यूशन इज गोइंग टू बी सी टाइम ई पावर पी एक्स माइनस पी एक्स वॉट एवर द रूट यू गॉट हियर नॉट इवन रूट जस्ट थिंक दैट दिस माइनस पी टाइम एक्स जनरली यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस सॉल्व एंड इफ इट इज नॉट नॉन होमोजीनियस in that case right in that case the solution is or what is that we can directly multiply both side is like this and we can think that this is going to be you know in this case this part this this two part could be think as can be written as like just this and right side is going to be e power qx and anti derivative of i think sir is discuss that what is the anti derivative is The anti derivative will try to get that. So finally, solution is going to be this e power minus p x anti derivative, and then why I it came minus e power? I said right. The next step is that multiply both side by minus sorry e power minus p x. Then you will get this step. If you multiply both side, this will be what e power p x. Into e power minus p x. This will give one into f x plus the right side is you can see e power x is multiplied here. So that means finally you got f x is equal to this e power minus p x and anti derivative plus c time e power minus p x. By this way we got f x. If it is so. in the first order case if it is the homogeneous case then very simple just fx is equal to c time e power minus vx and if it is not homogeneous then still in that case you you have to just think what is going to be your anti derivative for e power px ks kind case and then finally the solution you can write that's all this in week 12 first order second order that's all sir yes sir while uh, giving the introduction about the uh, second order uh, differential equation mm -hmm. well, for an example uh, sir was discussing about an example of uh, solving a rlc circuit also sir in that uh, while we are writing a circuit class in that what is meant by the forcing function sir sorry sorry Uh, while writing that circuit law equations for that uh, circuit, sir, what mm. is meant by that forcing function? That uh, in the lecture also it was discussed. Sir. So forcing function is we don't want no meaning of that. It is just you know even you don't need that. What is the forcing function? It is this is just you know sir is saying. a real life example that you will see that some problem in the you know where in the circuits so once you will do there what is you know in the electricity i i think no not electricity means what is that electronic system in there you will see what is going to be your what what force you are saying so that is totally different from this here the Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, yes, sir. So there is no meaning of saying to be, you know, what is going to be that force. It is, sir is giving just, you know, in that circuit, from that circuit, what differential equation you are getting? That's the only mean. That's the only mean. Main case is that what kind of differential equation you will get in the case of once you solve this circuit problem. We will uh, we will get a this differential equation. This one. Where is that? This L I prime, whatever the thing is there. Some different differential equation we will get, and we will try to solve that differential equation. So how we will solve that? We have already now discuss now sir. So this is a gist is sir is saying that what is the use of differential second order differential equation? In some circuits we will get a kind of differential equation. and we have to find that our function so how we will solve that the solving is here that this is the process yes sir 
and another doubt is uh, in the lecture one uh, we are discussing about the examples where we will be using these uh, first order derivative equations while discussing those population models sir mm -hmm. in that sir has uh, specified that rate of change of population of time uh, with respect to time will be uh, directly proportional to the number of peoples uh, here sir mm -hmm. and after that <clears throat> Uh, sir has discussed about that as a maximum sustainable population and that also he understood sir and at last uh, while he is um, taking the actual uh, change of rate of change of uh, population with respect to time mm -hmm. he is just multiplying that r into nt and uh, 1 minus this nt divided by k sir i don't know uh, why uh, is multiplying that one sir this one ah yes sir where sir is multiplying here so so this is a proportional lo. yes sir that is a proportional, a proportional see this is a property of once you do the physics okay i think you will do so just please wait okay till the electronic system i think you are doing some electronic system course so if you are doing that it will be very much clear that if it a proportional sign is there and you want to write that proportional sign to equal to sign then mm -hmm. there will be a multiplication of r okay that's the meaning here you want to write the proportional sign this to in the equation equal to sign then there will be a multiplication r time so that's the meaning r time nt so it is totally here so it is a totally physics part okay yes sir uh, that part. i understood sir hmm. but so what is happening here proportional sign is when proportional sign is met to equal to sign then it is multiplied by r into sorry r in r and t into that whatever this part is given so, but uh, the confusion is initially the R and T is also proportional to uh, N dash of T and 1 minus N T by K is also proportional to N dash of T. So, we will be multiplying means it will be equal to us, sir. So, so make that. Uh, don't worry with that. Don't worry. So, finally, your our purpose at least here is this part, the third line. Okay. N prime equal to this, this we got what is here okay. we don't care what is the it, it is these all are actually physics part our part is that we'll try to solve this differential equation so how okay. we are getting this differential equation is this information is giving you that some circuit problem is there and some proportional sign are there we anyhow we are reaching to a differential equation this third line okay sir and this part or how we are getting this third line it is totally physics part okay. and uh, okay so don't care about this okay once you do the electronic system you will get these all these parts are actually came, coming from physics only okay anyone else have doubt so summary is kind of we did already nothing is remain now again part second order derivatives first order derivatives we discussed more a lot with example so anyone have any kind of doubt Tanisk, do you have any kind of doubt no, sir. okay no, sir, but I have posted some questions. I think options are not right. It is my guess. Sorry, sorry. I have posted some uh, options which is not right, I think. Okay. Question two, three, four options are. 
are same okay activity 2.3 question 4 just for the should be corrected okay I just want to check that these options. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me take the screenshot of it. Actually, this there are some corrections and we'll check it. Okay. Thanks, Akas. Yeah, it is good. Thank you so much. There, yeah, I am sure there are some corrections. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Agas. Thank you, sir. Good night. Yeah, good night to all of you. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.